Oh, this is zero punctuation. So zero. Ben Yahtzee Croshaw, he's an expert gamer, and he does these videos that's like three three minutes long, and they basically he just plays a game for like a little bit, and then writes like a kind of impressions kind of thing, and he's very very witty. I kind of I kind of like his humor. He's got like a dry kind of sarcasm. Um, I think he over relies on like bodily fluid jokes and shit, but. For the most part, I mean, I can understand at least why he thinks something. He kind of had like a, a Trump derangement episode during 2016 where he kept freaking out about America. He's like a, a, a British man living in Australia. And he's like, Trump, Trump. It's like, well, congratulations, bro. You're like 6,000 fucking miles away from Donald Trump. You don't have to worry about it, bro. Shut the fuck up. Write your fucking game reviews. But like everybody else with... Any kind of journalism cred, he feels the need to complain about Trump. Anyways, I, uh, I haven't been keeping up with him for a while, but he was like an old favorite. I've watched probably a lot of his, all his old videos, like several times. He's one of those people that I, I put on repeat while programming um, at some point. So uh, I, I like him. Apparently, he's his publication, Zero Punctuation, was a part of um, a quote unquote magazine, it was an e zine. That's how old this shit is. It used to be part of an e-zine uh, called The Escapist Magazine. And The Escapist Magazine used to have a bunch of content, including very, um, very prestigious alumni, such as the James Stefani Sterling. His uh, writings were featured in, um, or videos even, I think it was videos, were featured in The Escapist Magazine. So, um... He left at some point, they had a falling out, and a lot of people had fallings out with uh, the escapists to the point where Ben Yahtzee Croshaw in Zero Punctuation was the only content that the escapists had on their channel for like a period of years. There was nobody else putting out videos on the YouTube channel for the escapists besides Zero Punctuation. And just now, 2023, um, apparently they fired a, the editor and uh yahtzee has made the decision to leave zero punctuation and the real uh the real kick in the head is that he doesn't even get to keep zero punctuation he he doesn't own the rights to the the video and they're going to try to replace him with somebody i guess to continue the series and he's gonna have to start from scratch again and just hope that his audience red rovers over to his new video so Literally, and this was a thing with me with my my payroll company is that like when I um I wrote all that software over years, long nights and shit to try and meet like crazy deadlines. And by the end of it, my boss, who was like he had just done like a startup and you know, he was like sweating every day. By the end of the three years that I had with them, my boss was like a multimillionaire. He was taking vacations. He was talking about going up skiing and shit out of the country and uh, how his wife was having like a second kid and all this other shit. And I'm, I was getting paid like $15 an hour <laughs> because I, I was like, I didn't have, even have a high school diploma. I started at like $10 an hour and I was up to like, like 15 20 by the time i quit and this was years ago but because i had zero experience and i thought like you know my work went to making this guy a multi-millionaire and i spent three years of my life for that and i really don't have that much to show for it except for my work experience and i thought i will fucking never build somebody else's product ever again and um I mean, I appreciate the opportunity and stuff, but like, I don't know, it, it was it left a really sour taste in my mouth, like just how big the company had gotten. And I was still just kind of like ramping up to like a normal pay rate. And uh, I mean, I was very young, so I, I, I was making money when most people were in school. So, so I'm not like, sour. I mean, it was a good thing for me. But at the same time, one of the one of the it was a good thing for me for multiple reasons. One of the reasons why it was a good thing for me was also that I learned the value of owning your own business and leading your own projects um, and not making somebody else's project for them. Not to sound resentful or anything. It's just like, that's one of the things, that's one of the lessons that I picked up in the process. And I feel like Yahtzee should have learned that at some point that he was basically running this guy's business. Like he made the, he was the only reason why the escapist was still a thing. The fact that the escapist exists outside of just you know, zero punctuation is like crazy to me because I don't know anything else by them. And now 
you know, 23 years later, I'm sure he's like 40 now. He's like in his mid 40s. And it's like he's got his money, I guess, that he's made over the years. But he's he literally has to start from scratch now. <laughs> he has to find a way to convert like his existing momentum into something brand new. Because he's lost the, the one thing that's like been his job for so long. So there it is. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of sad, but whatever. I like, I like his videos. I already did. Yeah, he'll be fine. But he, I'm just saying, he could have more than he does if he played his cards right. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.